Welcome to Learn Biology and today we're discussing cells. Cells are characterized as the smallest unit of life. Smallest unit of life. And the name or word cell was coined by a man named Robert Hooke who saw cells under a light microscope while observing a piece of cork. So let's begin with the first type of cell, prokaryotic cells. So prokaryotic cells. Prokaryotic. Prokaryotic cells are very simple cells. They have very few parts and very few functions. Examples of prokaryotic cells are bacteria and the simple structure of prokaryotic cells looks something like this. So let's begin with only these two parts. Here we have the outer layer of a cell, a prokaryotic cell. This isn't called the cell wall. Cell wall. What a cell wall does is give structure to the cell. So cell wall equals structure. If we go down inside, there is a another layer. This is called the cell membrane. The cell membrane is a layer it's a barrier so the cell membrane cell membrane is a barrier that prevents substances or molecules to get in now we get to the actual insides of the cell in a prokaryotic cell there is this elongated meaning stretched out DNA so right once we pass the cell membrane we would see DNA just in long strands. This DNA is known as the nuclear area. It is known as the nuclear area because DNA is what guides the cell. All the functions of the cell are guided by the DNA and nuclear is classified as the brain of a cell so nuclear area so this is inside of the prokaryotic cell other things that are within the cell include ribosomes ribosomes are just tiny dots all here these are protein creators ribosomes so ribosomes let's change the color here ribosome ribosomes are protein protein creators so ribosomes are responsible for protein synthesis now how does a cell move how does a prokaryotic cell move well prokaryotic cells have this tail and the tail is known as a flagella. So flagella are used for movement. So this just moves this way and this way and guides the cell forward. So this is known as flagella used for movement. We also have this thing. These are our tiny hairs on the outside of the cell and what pili do so pili pili what they do is they act as sensory parts that function in movement so they kind of guide the movement so guide movement so that's what pili do now we have one final part and this is again within the cell this 
right here and here there's substance called cytoplasm so cytoplasm the blue is cytoplasm and what this is it is, is a gel like substance that covers the whole inside of the cell so this cytoplasm let's just mark it here cytoplasm functions as the region of movement within the cell it allows it is a type of material that allows for things to move within it it's and it also acts as a shock absorber shock absorber also allows reactions to take place and again movement it is a colloid material so thank you for watching learn biology and next time we'll be covering a new type of cell called eukaryotic cells see you next time